Hi everybody, Zeev Simon here. I'm the creator of Surgical Master. Welcome to this video. And in this one, I wanted to talk about implant failure and not so much about what are the reasons for failure and what is my opinion about etiology and how we fix that. There are certainly uh, much better videos and resources uh, in my teachings, in other people's teachings, and uh, definitely not a video I'm shooting here in, uh, in nature inside of a little forest. I wanted to talk to you about implant failure more from a uh, philosophical point of view and how dentists perceive implant failures. And at least in my experience, when implants fail, um, it's almost like a devastating blow to the surgeon and a lot of doctors take it personally. And the question is why? The question is why? Why, why are you so devastated when an implant fails? This is uh, implant surgery is one of the most successful procedures in, in medicine. Uh, we're looking at success rates um, over 90-95% in my hands, in your hands. So, you know, if a small percentage fails, uh, you, know, that, you know, that's not too bad. That can be addressed and redone and uh, patients are usually very understanding. So why are, why are surgeons so devastated and uh, almost blame themselves for uh, the failure? Um, by the way, most failures occur in the, under best circumstances when all the protocols have been followed and in good bone and sometimes it doesn't work out. So, um, at least in my opinion, there are a couple of reasons why we um, look at it this way. Number one, implants have a huge hype uh, starting in the 80s, 90s, uh, beginning of the century. Uh, implants are the next best thing and um, they just look and feel like your teeth. We know this is not true anymore. Uh, and then after a hype, if something fails, then uh, really uh, there's a lot of disappointment. But I think where the disappointment really comes from is patients are needing implants because they're losing their teeth for periodontal reasons, for uh, you know breakage and caries and uh, non-restorability. But now a patient lost their tooth uh, and now the implant does not work. What's next? So that creates a little bit of... Uh, uh, helplessness uh, emotion in the patients and maybe the surgeon gets a little bit nervous too. Uh, I'm here walking into um, a little forest and I'm just seeing a tree that broke, uh, basically broke in half. Uh, it's probably a tree that is uh, maybe 20, 30, maybe 40 years old. What's the reason this, this tree broke? Uh, you know, it's not man-made. Was it, um, you know, a beaver that was uh, just uh, chopping at the tree with his teeth? Were there too many monkeys jumping, jumping on the on the branches? Not, not that we have monkeys here. Uh, was there uh, some type of problem? There's probably multiple reasons why this tree fails. And really, in with dental implant failure, uh, it's the same thing. It's multiple reasons that cause the failure, predominantly. I believe that ultimately the, uh, an infection will cause the loss of integration, but we have so many different types of failures and so many different stages that we are just starting to scratch the surface in understanding why it's, why it's being caused and what's the reason to treat it. So my advice to you, if you have implant failures, uh, don't take it as a devastating blow like you did something wrong. Hopefully you followed all the surgical protocols. Uh, you looked into initial stability, you div did everything right from a protocol perspective, from a biologic perspective. And if it still doesn't work out, look into a multitude of reasons why it didn't uh, work, uh, why this implant, this tree uh, failed, and find ways to correct it. Be proactive, find ways to place another, uh, remove the bad implant, uh, graft the site place another implant, try to learn from your experience and see if there are any specific risk factors for this patient. So I hope this video was a little bit helpful to you in uh, getting a better perspective, a more positive perspective on implant failures. These things uh, have happened, they will always happen. Luckily most of our implants are successful and we can deliver a great treatment that our patients can enjoy for many, many years. So until the next video, this is Zeev Simon from Surgical Master. I will see you soon.